everybody, Miss Peanut Head here, and we are going to be using just the Revealed 3 palette today to come up with our looks. So, my good friend had messaged me and asked me, she's like, hey, have you done anything with this palette? And I was like, yeah, I've done a couple things. And she's like, I don't know where to start. There's so many colors. And I was like, I will do a video. <sighs> okay. So, all of my foundation is applied, and I just want to do pretty much just this video just on eyes, because, I mean, the point of this is just to show this palette off a little bit. So I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is just the original one. So I'm going to take just a little bit, and apply it gently to my eyelids. Any other eyelid? And while this is setting, I'm just going to contour just a little bit. Add just a little bit of blush to, I don't know, make myself look not so dead. Because I look a little ghostly in this video. I mean, I can see it and I look a little pale. Alright, so just taking my bronzer. Just gently applying that. Oh, I look better already. And then I'm going to go back to my Becca blush today. I know I've been using pretty much just the uh, Tarte one for a while, but I want something a little darker today. Not as pink. I'm not packing it on nearly as heavy as I usually do because I'm in the mood for something a little little lighter today. <gasps> Yay! I'm not looking as gross. Huzzah! Okay, and then um, while I'm doing this all quickly, I may as well apply <gasps> my highlight. So this is Champagne Pop. Just applying that with my fan brush on the tops of my cheekbones. Yay! I look like a normal human again. Okay, now that that is all done, let's start off with showing off our lovely palette. Ooh. Oh wait, so we're going to be doing kind of like a pink purple with a little bit of black today. So, I'm going to start off using this really pretty, like, I don't want to say pale pink because it's not pale, it's more like a, a purple based pink. So I'm just going to take that and apply that right in the center of my eyelid. Just patting it on very gently. Do, do, do. Okay, and then on the other eye, patting it on. Very gently. I want this pink to pop, so I'm going to come back and apply a little bit more later. But, next stop is purple. So, I'm going to be taking the purple that is right next to it, using my Luxie brush. And we are just going to go to town. So I'm starting on the outside of my eye, and then I'm swooping back and forth in that crease. I don't really have like the perfect eye for a cut crease look or I would literally be rocking that like every single day. It is one of my favorite looks in the whole world. Unfortunately it just doesn't work for me that well. Okay and as you can see there's just a ton of purple. I'm gonna move on to the next eye. And this is probably the easiest thing in the world to do. You just set it in your crease and then you just go back and forth really gently. Nothing hard. Anyone can do it. Just get yourself a good brush that will help blend all of these colors really well and really easily for you so you don't have to do much work. 
Because, I mean, I'm literally just going back and forth, and it blends so, so incredibly well. Okay, now that we are all done with that purple, I'm going to take a smaller brush, really, really small brush, get that pink again, and then dab it again in the center of my eye. Because I really, really want the pink to pop a little bit more than what it was. Okay, and the next eye. And I apologize, my eyes are a little watery. I'm having like the worst allergies right now. And instead of me being sneezy, my eyes are just like super like, watery all the time. So, now that we are all done with that, taking another one of my Real Techniques brush. This is again in their little eye set kit thing, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be taking this really pretty black and with a little bit of sparkles to it. Just a little. I don't want the black to be overpowering. I just want to touch. And then I'm going to just very, very gently blend that on the outside of my eye. And I don't want to blend it all the way over. I just want just a little, little bit of it. And I'm going to take that Lexi brush again. And I'm going to blend even more. Just because... This is like my favorite brush in the whole world to blend with. It does all the work for you. So we're all done with that. And then take the next side. There should be still a little bit of black left on that because you just want just a little bit. And then if you don't have enough, I mean, I just am barely tapping this black on my eyes because I don't want a really heavy, smoky look. I just want kind of a hint. Just gonna blend. And as always, blending is probably the most time consuming part of any makeup look because you don't want to just leave colors like packed in one area of your eye and like have them just be there, especially black. Black is such a harsh color that you don't want to just leave an awkward just smudge of black. You want this to be blended well. Okay, now that I'm all done with that, I'm again going to be taking another small brush like this. I'm going to go back to that purple, and I'm going to apply it underneath my eye. Right along the waterline. on the other eye. Boom. Woo. Okay. Next stop is I'm going to apply just a little bit of black to that waterline to kind of pull everything together. I just need to find the perfect black. The one that I really, really want to use and I can never seem to find when I actually like want to use it. I'll be right back guys. Just hang tight. And we're back. Okay, so I found my eyeliner. It was like in the middle of all my other eyeliners and I couldn't find it. So I'm using one from Urban Decay, just regular black. And I'm going to apply that directly to my lower waterline. And on the other eye. OK, 
Okay, so we're all done with that part of it. Now we're gonna move on to our eyebrows. Okay, so taking my wonderful, wonderful dip brow, we are going to just go to town and make these eyebrows look phenomenal. So let's get started with that. Just taking a little bit of that dip brow. And let's morph into a wonderful, beautiful butterfly. I don't want to say caterpillar because caterpillars are a little too hairy, but we're going to go transform into a butterfly. Okay, since I know you guys really don't want to watch me do my eyebrows, we'll be back. And flash, you won't even miss me, I promise. You won't even miss me. Okay? Like, just blink and I'll be right back. And we're back! Don't we look phenomenal? So, I'm, um, as I was finishing up my eyebrows, you know how I said, like, oh, blink and I'll be back. Um, I'm wearing a Doctor Who shirt that says, don't blink and has a weeping angel on it. So, I'm kind of finding the irony in the fact that I told you guys to blink. Um, don't listen to that. Just, just pretend that that never, never happened. All right, so I took the time to curl my eyelashes since you guys know I hate having people watch me do that. So starting with my Maybelline Full and Soft, I'm just going to apply that to my lashes. And wiggle with it. And my other eye. And wiggle with it. Woo, woo, woo. And then for the bottom lashes, using my telescopic. I hate that I can't hold it up like this. I have to like turn it because that's how the words are written. I know it's really not that big of a deal, but it, like, it bothers me. And I'm just going to apply quickly and gently to my lower lashes. And the other eye. Almost done, almost done guys. Just hang tight. Okay, using nude from Gerard Cosmetics, I'm going to apply that lip. And around my lip ring. And we're all done guys. So just a really, really simple, quick, easy look using our Revealed 3 palette, which came in BoxyCharm this month. Seriously guys, if you haven't checked out BoxyCharm, really, really do it. I'm 1000% not being paid to like tell you guys about them or anything. I, I wish I was, <laughs> but they're so awesome. I mean, the quality of products that you get is like phenomenal for the amount of money that you spend. It is so, so awesome. My personal favorite beauty subscription box out there, but I just wanted to do a really, really quick look to show you guys all this cool stuff. So. I will be adding photos of this lovely face to the end of this video so you guys can see it a little up close and personal, get a bitter feel vibe for it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!